baby is about to depart. It will have a self-developed uh, vortex propeller. So for viewers, they may be familiar with J10, but may not be familiar about the J10B. Well, we do have some um, static demonstration of J10B, but it is the first time that we see some aerobatics for J10B. So now we can see the jet jetter is around is about to depart. Now you can see it is accelerating and with a high angle elevation. It's very high angle. And during the elevation process, you can see this aircraft. It has done. It just has done a very small angle solar sort, meaning that the uh, maneuvering capability is very strong for this aircraft. This is because we have installed a TVC engine inside of the uh, aircraft. So this is a very excellent performance. So TVC engine is also self-developed by China. We're very proud of the thrust vector control engine. It is actually a breakthrough in China's aviation industry. The TVC engine will help to improve the uh, combat capability and the flight capability for J-10 as well as the J-10B. Just as, as we mentioned, it is a breakthrough for the aviation industry of China. So what are the features for the TVC engine? So by using the TVC engine, uh, it can help the aircraft to change its orientation immediately. Scold. With the thrust vector control engine, it can change the uh, control trajectory of the aircraft. There, therefore, the targeted area can be changed by the aircraft. And also, it can help to change the direction for the air-to-air -air combat as well as the air-to-service attack. And also, we can see a very nice um, tail section for this aircraft. You can see a very good um, demonstration for the property of the flying cap capacity. So all of the orientation and direction can be controlled in a convenient way for the pilot. So this is the major contribution that was made by the TVC engine developed by China. Now you can see the aircraft is doing another type of um, high angle terms. So I think if all of this can be done in a formation flight, it will be more magnificent. Sometimes when you are seeing a high angle elevation, it will generate a high speed of the aircraft. And we have just done a very difficult maneuvering operation. It is a, in a snake shape for the high angle elevation. You can tell the high angle from the airflow of the aircraft. It is very flexible for the aircraft. It is also showcased the strong property for the TVC engine. Without TVC engine, this kind of maneuvering move cannot be happened. So with the TVC engine, it can improve the flexibility of the aircraft. Today we feel very proud and very honored to see um, the debut of the TVC engine as well as the performance of J10B. Very excellent demonstration of TVC engine. It is quite impressive. 
So China's Air Force, as well as Chinese people, will be very proud of the uh, invention of TVC engines. Let's check out the airflow of the aircraft. This is a very typical move for the maneuvering of the aircraft. This is quite impressive. So what are the future applications for the TVC engine? So now we have a successful application of TVC engine in J10B. And in the future, um, we will have uh, J-10C, and pretty soon we will have an uh, invisible fighter, J-20. I think in the future, if we can install the TVC engine into those aircraft, it will help to uh, improve the combat capability for all of those aircraft. This will also showcase the uh, breakthrough and the strong development for the China's developments in aerospace and aviation industry. We believe everyone is very excited about this invention and the breakthrough. I think today is a milestone for China. Every one of us feel very impressed about the performance of the TVC engine. So what is the development time for the TVC engine? Well, it takes a long time for Chinese people, and it is the debut for TVC engine. It takes a long time for us to develop this kind of engine. It is not just a simple engine. We have to make sure that the engine is working effectively with the control system. Well, we just hear a...